I'm going to have a look at area under a curve. For area under a curve, you have to have a curve, obviously. And you see I'm dropping a straight line down there. That's x equals a. And here's another straight line being dropped, and that's x equals b. If I want this area, the way you find it is you integrate the curve, which is your y. So integrate your y curve with respect to x between a and b. That's a very complicated way of saying something quite straightforward that you have been doing. So example one, find the area under the curve y equals x squared minus x minus 12 between x equals 0 and x equals 2. Okay, so all you do for that one, integrate between 0 and 2. You put your curve in here. That's your y. This is your y here. So we pop it in. I put dx. You're going to integrate this. So do you remember how to integrate? Add 1, divide by it. Add 1, divide by it. x reappears. Now, you can put your plus c in here or you can leave it out because it's going to cancel off because this is definite integration where you definitely know the values. So, up to you. I'll leave it off this time. So you sub in your 2, 2 cubed, 2 squared, 12 times 2. And then you sub in your 0. 0 cubed minus 0 squared minus 12 times 0. Just putting all that in your calculator. 8 fraction 3 minus 2. Take away 24. Gives you an answer of minus 70 over 3. Now because this is an area, you always give it as a positive answer. So you write the area is 70 over 3 units squared. Okay, for some of you, in case you're wondering, why on earth has she got a negative area in there? Well, maybe that this curve looks something like um, this. And you're finding the area here. So see where it's in the negative y-axis? So that's why it'd be a negative value. You always give your answer as a positive. Okay.